Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be showing you the easiest way to create the smooth zoom blur transition effect. It takes four keyframes to do all this. I don't like to use presets in After Effects for this. That's why I'm not following the traditional way to do this. There's a lot of other ways to do this. I'm gonna do it how I learned it. So the first thing you wanna do is search up transform. It's under video effects and distort if you wanna go through there and just drag it onto both of the clips you have. The next thing you wanna do is go to the very end of the first clip. Go to the very last frame. So that's the very last frame. Let's just zoom up on the effect control panel here. So that's the last frame. Type in 150, 200 or whatever as a scale. Make sure it's under transform and not motion. There's a difference. I'm gonna type in 150 so it isn't so harsh and place a keyframe by pressing the stopwatch right here. And now what I wanna do is go three frames back. How I do this is press the left arrow key three times. One, two, three. Let's just zoom in on here. And then click it right here and make it 100 instead. So what this does is it starts from 100 and then it zooms in. So like there, that's pretty cool. Some people would leave it like that if they, you know, just like that. But some people want the blur because the blur is in the title of the, you know, effect name. So how to add the blur is you disable, use composition shutter, and then you make the shutter angle 360. 360 will give you the most blur. So you can see if I zoom in here, there's blur here. If it's 50, the blur is less than 100. 100 is less than 200. So the higher the shutter angle is, the more blur there is. So right now we're basically 50% done. Now we just have to do it to the other side. So we just done two keyframes. Now we're gonna do another two. So we just play it. And now you wanna press on the second clip, go to the very beginning now instead of the end because that's where the transition takes place. You wanna go to scale, type in 125. Just make sure it's more than 100 and less than how much you zoomed in on the first clip. So 125 is more than 100, but it is less than 150. And I'm gonna disable this, make the shutter angle 360. I'm gonna go and zoom in here. I forgot to press the keyframe here. Go right three frames, one, two, three and then make this 100. So here it zooms out. And I forgot to show you guys something that will make it a little bit more smooth. You would just wanna highlight both of these, select them, right click. You wanna select auto bezier. Now go on this one as well and just select it. So I zoom up here, right click, auto bezier. And now it'll be a little bit smoother. So let's just play it. If that's a little bit too fast for you, what you can do is just move it out like five keyframes apart now instead of three. So like one, two, three, four, five, you can just move it out two frames. So there, and then go to this one and then you can zoom and then you can just move it two more frames right instead. So like, let's just put it right here. One, two, and there you have it. So this is a little bit of a less aggressive, you know, you know what I mean? Like transition. And basically if it's laggy at all, you just want to Go to sequence, render in and out, and there you have it. You can also add a swoosh effect, like a sound effect so you guys can get more realistic and just put it in between the two clips as an audio file. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one. This is a Chucky Beat production.